Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a fantasy harvest moon. Uh, this episode we are doing things a little bit different. Give me one moment. Alright. Of course we water and whatnot, but uh, let's head over to school real quick. Okay, so I'm actually going to be heading in, and I'm going to be taking care of a lot of crafting and cooking and all this right off the bat. That way I can clear up my inventory a bit. Because as you've noticed, I've been struggling the last few episodes. So, first things first. One corn and one milk together of any size. I'll see if I have the recipe. I don't appear to have the recipe, but it should be fine. Here we go, corn flakes. This is level 6 no matter which one you use, so I'd recommend a small milk that you can purchase, but I need this done immediately. Done with corn for the moment. Next item. Also, future game. Please actually mark these. Prelude to love. Strawberry and pink melon in the mixer. Okay, here at the mixer, we're going to use one strawberry and one pink melon. Do I have the recipe for this? It would not appear so. Uh, that's fine. This should be 100%. Prelude to love. Over here at the pot, we're going to boil an egg. And then over here at the hand mixing, one pink cat, boiled egg, tomato, cucumber, and bread. makes a sandwich. Once again, with the hand mixing, we're going to use one rice and one bamboo sprout to make the mushroom rice. Here at the fry pan, we're going to take a potato and an oil together to make french fries. And we are going to take an egg of any size, an oil, and some bread. And if you don't know what this is, what's wrong with you? French toast. I just made this the other night. Here's the recipe for French toast. Okay, here at the fry pan, a single eggplant gives you miso eggplant. 33%. We have the miso eggplant. Miso added to roasted eggplant. Has a mellow distinguishing flavor, uh, taste rather. Corn flakes. Corn flattened and then baked. High nutrition it is mainly eaten as breakfast. French fries. Peeled and sliced potatoes fried in oil. So crispy, salty, and addicting. Mushroom rice. Rice mixed with mushrooms. A spring dish. The rice is accentuated with a wild mushroom flavor. Prilla de Love, a blend of melon and strawberries. Its sweet yet sour rush hits you like Cupid's arrow. French toast, bread fried lightly with milk and eggs. Known and loved for simply melting your mouth. Sandwich, veggies and other fillings placed between slices of bread. Can easily be eaten with just one hand. Alright. It should be noted those other sandwiches were the ones I got from the uh, lunches, so yeah, that's an explanation there. Okay. I'm gonna grab one of these. One of these. One of these. And two of these. I'm gonna cut back in here real quick just to say that M just messaged me saying, fine, leave me, crying face. And I'm like, uh, M. You made it into the video. Good job. <laughs> I need an apple, Morgan. Apple! I need cabbage. My cabbages! Over here at the fry pan, if we take one hot, hot fruit and one apple, we make the baked apple. Over here at the basic cooking station, we take a turnip and a pink turnip together. Pickle mix. Here in the fry pan, we're going to take one rice, one egg, one oil, one leek, and one green pepper all together to make the fried rice. Here in the fry pan, we're going to take one potato, one oil, and one egg to make croquettes. Over here at the pharmacy, 
we're gonna take a charm blue, a pink cat, a toy herb, and a moon. Uh, just a second, my brain shut off. <laughs> and a moon drop to make mixed herbs. This is a level 10 recipe we didn't have the recipe for, so we'll take our second hot hot fruit, a thing of rice, and the mixed herbs we just made to make rice porridge. Here in the pot you're going to want to take one milk of any size and one rice. Depending on which milk you use it will be a different level to make the milk porridge. Skill increased. Milk porridge is either 15, 18, or level 21, depending on what size milk. Over here at the pot, if you take one chocolate and one milk of any size, once again, changes what level it is, you make the hot chocolate. Okay. We have the fried rice. Rice and egg fried together in oil. The light, fluffy eggs are what makes this dish great. Hot chocolate. Chocolate added to warm milk. Don't worry. Uh, don't drink it too often or else you'll be get cavities. Croquettes. Potatoes mashed, then turned into small cakes and fried. Loved by the masses for the simplicity and taste. Milk porridge. Milk added to the rice porridge, making it sweeter, easier to eat, and boosting its nutrition. Rice porridge. Rice boiled in water, softening it. Often eaten when sick, made with loving care. Pickle mix. A, p a mix of spring and a mix of spring and winter turnip. A mix of spring and turnip. A mix of spring and winter turnip pickles. The white and crimson colors make a striking contrast. Baked apple, a sweet treat, blending spices and the flavor of apple perfectly. And that's it. So, ship time. Okay, we're actually gonna need grapes. So I shall grab these four for now. And we also wanna ride all the way up to Bridge to Shrine. That way we can start fishing a little bit. Uh, Meisu Trout. Sure, why not, for the sake of cooking. Meisu Trout again. Why can I get nothing but Meisu Trout? This is frustrating. Well, this sucks. Alright. I'm gonna real quick cook up all the Mesu trout in the fry pan because they're level 18 recipes. Why not? Free experience. Used up all of my energy perfectly and got me to the eye in cooking. So around 40% or so. So, eh, not bad. Okay. So. Huh. I guess let's do all the grilled fishes. Or at least a couple of them. Okay, let's start the lesson on grilled fish. First is dried sardines. Take a sardine, slice it, and then sprinkle it with salt. Next, slice and salt another sardine. Lastly, take another sardine, slice it, and salt it. Then bundle them all together and cook them until they're finished. Next is fried gabellio. It's easy to catch, and this recipe is easy too. Catch a gabellio, then fry it, and that's it, you're finished. Next is a salted chub. It has a lot of small bones, but it's delicious. You'll just need one chub. Salt it and fry it and you're done. Fried Crucian Carp is next. You only need you only need a Crucian Carp, but it's not easy to catch. Finally, we'll try salted pond smelt, okay? Sprinkle a pond sprinkle a pond smelt with salt, then cook it. We actually did that one last episode. Okay, let's start the lesson on grilled fish. The first one will be salted salmon. Catch a salmon and slice it however you like, then salt it and cook it. Next is fried skipjack. It's more like sashimi than grilled fish. Simply slice the skipjack like a sashimi after grilling the outside. Next is salted pike. This is a popular to eat in fall. First salt a pike, then cook it. It has a strong flavor, so grate some daikon radish on top of it to give it a lighter, fresher taste. 
Next is fried mackerel. Simply salt a mackerel, then grill it. Finally, we'll try the fried gorilla, or yellow or gorilla, however it is. It has a mild flavor, so it goes well with anything. Sprinkle a gorilla with salt, grill it, and it's done. And we're done for the day. For her, at least. Wednesday means it's the middle of the week. Only Thursday and Friday left, then it's the weekend. So, there were the tidy little sum. Not bad. We're actually going to purchase some herbs today. We're going to need one stack of white, purple, and green. We may not need the full stack, but I'm not sure how many of each we need. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> Alright. And while I'm in the area, may as well pick up another quest. Uh... Let's see, trolls would be fairly easy to do, but that would require me to head all the way out there. Let's do this one. We like Tanya. Let's just talk some sense into her. What's up, Arya? I read your message on the bulletin board. Ah, uh, then you know I need some of your help. Could you go talk to my mom for me? She wants to, me to take over the family business for her, but I haven't decided what I want to do when I'm older yet. She keeps going on about it. Can you tell her I don't know it? If I want to take over the business when I grow up? I see. Yeah, it must be hard for you. Okay, I'll go talk to her. Thanks, Arya. Go tell my mom that I don't know if I want to take over the business for her. I really appreciate it, Arya. Oh, Tanya, Roy wants me to tell you. He said he isn't ready to take over the weapon shop yet. Oh dear, Roy has said that. I didn't know he didn't want to take over the weapon shop. I was so, I just always assumed everyone likes this shop kind of a blade as much as I do. Ah, oh, thanks for letting me know, Arya. Maybe he'll change his mind someday, at any rate. Let him know I won't talk about him for now. Okay, no problem. Hey, you don't fancy taking over, do you? I'd welcome you with open arms. I'd gladly train you. Ah, uh, thanks, but no thanks. Ah, oh, what a shame. Okay, I'll let Roy know what you told me. Roy may not want to take over the family business now, but I'm sure he'll change his mind in a few years. So I actually need a single red grass, so I'll pick this up right now. Well, I talked to your mom, Roy. Thank you, Arya. So what did she say? She said she didn't know how you felt that way. She'll stop talking about it. She'll stop talking to you about it for now. Really? <laughs> Great. Thanks, Arya. I've got to. I've got to thank you for this. Here's a little something. You can't carry anything more. You need to make some room in your backpack. Oh. Give me just a second. Real quick, we'll cook. One grape, one wine, and one bread in the basic cooking area. Raisin bread. Once again, the by hand section. We're going to need one bread, one white grass, one strawberry, one apple, one orange. Fruit sandwich. Over here in the oven, we're going to take this cookie that I purchased, a piece of chocolate, and a piece of butter, a stick of butter, I should say, to make the chocolate, the chocolate cookie. So the chocolate cookie is actually a level 23 recipe. So considering you can get chocolate and butter from the store, you just have to buy milk to turn into butter and then do this. This is not a bad recipe to grind with. It costs a lot of money, but you give a little bit back, at least. If you have a lot of money, that's a decent one. Over here in the pot, we're going to add one charm blue, one grape, one purple grass, and one wine to make the grape liqueur. Level 19 recipe, it's a lot of bit different stuff, but not bad. And now at the fry pan, we're going to take one flour, one oil, one egg and the butter we made to make donuts. So was it donuts? Alright. Grape liqueur, a combination of wine and grapes cooked in a pot. The alcohol is boiled off, so it's safe for children too. Raisin bread, bread sprinkled with dried raisins, soft with a sweet yet sour tang. Donuts, flour and butter shaped into a ring, then baked. Some people prefer a few of these for breakfast. Fruit sandwich. Fruit placed between slices of bread. Its refreshing taste makes it a tasty snack. And I think that's all the ones we... Oh, no. Not quite. Chocolate cookie. Simple baked flour mixed cookie. 
I covered in plenty of chocolate. Its sweet yet bitter taste is addicting. Raisin bread. Bread sprinkled with dried raisins, soft with a sweet yet sour. Okay, I didn't read that one. All right. We're up to 42% now. I believe we were at 33% at the beginning of the day and 38% overall. Now both are 42. That's definitely good. All the way up here, I actually need another hot, hot fruit. Ow. And I also need a few of these cabbages. Well, I talked to your mom, Roy. You've got missing page one. Thanks. Thanks again, Arya. Missing page one. A page from the Sonic Wind magic book. Describes how to use powerful magic. Ooh, and, uh... Oh, I do have that one. Cool. Mom! Magic book! Sonic Wind! I want to repair the Sonic Wind book. Okay. You found the missing page. This won't be any problem then. La 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 la. There we go. Get us new. Receive the Sonic Wind magic book. Thank you, teacher. Don't mention it. Sonic Wind unleashes scythes of magic, scythes of wind that chase down enemies. Partly repaired, now allows a more powerful spell. Not super important for now, but it, it's, it's good. It's, it's good. Here at the mixer, we're going to put in one hot, hot fruit, one red grass, and one gunpowder to make hot juice. The second to last recipe that we have for the mixer. Skill of increase. Perfect timing. So we have every single recipe in here except for one. The only one we don't have in here... Also, wait, I just realized that I have this wrong. Hot juice is level 13. I had this as a level 3 recipe. I will need to fix that. There's only one left. So, the maximum level of any of these in the uh, mixer is 21. The only one we're missing is a level 66 recipe. So, even if we had the ingredients, which, by the way, I think we have one ingredient for this... It is far beyond our capability. So this is more like the end of the game kind of thing. We'll get back to that later, though. Know that we're done here. I'll only really use this to make butter and things. <laughs> Over here at the pot, we actually need to make another boiled egg. Now we take that daikon radish, green grass, tomato, cabbage, cucumber, and the boiled egg we just made over at the by hand section. What? I have it down as this, so how did I mess up this recipe? Boiled egg, cucumber, daikon, tomato, green grass, cabbage. What am I doing wrong? Oh, is this not cabbage? This is white cabbage, not... That's stupid. I forgot there was a second cabbage rather than just the... Uh, a third, technically, but whatever. It's a spring one, of course. Well, an unfortunate thing is that this is not cabbage, this is white cabbage, and I forgot. So that's going to take a bit of Tory space now, and that sucks. The fact that this doesn't work for any of the recipes sucks. This is only used for one recipe, and it's not something I can make yet. I have all the ingredients, I just don't have the level for it yet. So later. I'll go see if I have any cabbage growing, but I don't think I do, which means that I'm going to have to wait to grow some more. Nope, if it's not here, it's definitely not the other one. Unfortunate. Okay. Cabbage. Takes 11 days. Ew. Ew. How many cabbages do I need? I need a single stack, including the one I needed to ship, which I think I may have already done. So, this is enough. Just rough, buddy. And this is so rough, buddy, that I'm actually buying an entire stack of Formula A for 18000 to just cut off a day. And I'll just keep doing this, to be honest. 
I can keep getting money through stupid ways, and I'll keep doing that. I need, I need progress. <laughs> Use it. At least you can tell it's using them. There we go. And that's what it looks like when you use the formula. I'm actually gonna ship this bread real quick. I don't need it for now. I can always make more. We need to make some more mixed herbs. So let's do it. Alright, another one. There we go. Okay, over here in the pot, we're gonna put in we're gonna put in a pink turnip, a carrot. I should get to drag these up here. A flower and a mixed herb all together for the level 26 recipe udon. Over here at the steamer, I do not have the recipe for it. We're gonna take one flower, one bamboo sprout one carrot, and our last mixed herb to make the level 29 recipe Chinese manju. Chinese manju. Ingredients wrapped in a soft, plump skin, then steamed. Plenty to sink your teeth into. Udon. Thick, wide noodles. Slippery to pick up, but go down easily. We still have another Chinese manju to do, and I actually realized that I'm gonna need more of my, uh, moon drops. To make more mixed herbs, so I'm gonna real quick do that. Way later on when we're cooking, we're actually gonna need more udon, but sadly we don't have any more moon drops, so I'll grow more, it's fine. Actually, wait, 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 I might not need it. Um, inquisitive waltz. Scratch that. I'm not going to do that. I'm looking at my list. I do not need to. You can get moon drops from Inquisitive Walt, same as the other things. So I will try to get one via that. That seems like a way easier thing to do. Um... There's something I absolutely must have for dinner. Please get it for me. A quest for dinner. You remember we had the quest for breakfast and the quest for lunch before, so here we are. Natural progression. Oh, well now, if it isn't Arya, you saw my request on the bulletin board, correct? Then let's get right to it then. I am missing a dish essential in any proper day single keel family dinner. I need to bring me a fried lover snap. Oh. Never mind. Your payment will be 15,000 G. Good luck. I... I don't... We can't do this. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, natural progression, my butt. The bar needs to keep going. I'd recommend we all just, you know, try to max out everything. It'd be the best for everyone. Including all of our delicious... Including all of our cute monsters. Why did I try to say delicious? What's wrong with me? Lunch time. I've brought you lunch. Hey, what did we get today? Today we're having seafood gratin. Yes. See you tomorrow. Alright, rad. I actually have another seafood garage in here. I'm gonna sell both of them. And I'm going to ship the Chinese manju. My space is too precious to be trying to hold on to those things. So cancel this. Um I guess we're gonna help out Max. Hello, Aria. Let's talk business. I want you to help me measure the strength of the steel that I've developed. Let me explain how to do it. Here's a steel sheet I had constructed. Hit this with your sword and we'll measure its strength by the extent of damage that you do. I'll be the record keeper and you carry out the experiment. You take your sword, the stylus, and continuously tap this sheet, the screen. Try hitting as long as you can. Do you understand? Okay, let's begin. OK, 
Okay, that's enough. Hmm, strength is a 24. This is not good. Take a look at how much damage it was caused when it was hit. This prototype is a failure. Well, thank you. With your help, I've been able to collect some valuable data. Here's 15,000 G for your services. We're actually going to try that a little bit different, though. Okay, that's enough. The strength is a one. This is not good. Take a look. Okay. No difference. Is there any difference? Okay. 27. Yeah, okay, so no matter what, it'll say pretty much the same thing. You'll get the same reward. I was just curious. I needed to test it. Good job. You've been a great help. I'll be in touch when I need you again. So, yeah, free 15,000 for at least touching it once. Ah, uh, thank you for coming. I've got a request for you, actually. I want you to take this vegetable juice to Julia. Don't drop it on the way now. Receive vegetable juice. Okay, no problem. Well then, take care. I deliver from Dorothy. That's very grown up of you, Arya. Thank you for this. Be sure to thank Dorothy for me, too. I will. You've made my delivery to Julia. Thank you. Here's a reward for your hard work. You got 400 G. If I need help again, I'll know who to call on. Thank you, Harry. You've been a big help. Small, but, you know, a nice little thing. I got my hands on it again. Come on by if you want it. Oh, Harry, well, yeah, I'm glad you came. I just found another missing page one, just like the one I gave you before. I figured you might want this one, too. Here, take it. You got missing page one. If I find any more, I'll let you know. Thank you. If it's helpful to you, I'm, I'll be very happy. Missing page one. A page from the Life Drain magic book describes how to use powerful magic. Mm. Interesting. I'm assuming not, but let's see if she'll actually do it at home. Nope. I guess she won't. So sad. So we're actually gonna need a lot of butter. And that's five. Over here in the oven, we're gonna need one butter, one milk, one egg, and one flour. Of course, the milk and the egg do not matter what size they are. To make the butter roll. And we're actually gonna need to make a bunch of these, so keep it up. So the butter roll recipe has six different, or I guess nine different possibilities technically. And they're all level 25, so it's good XP for me at this level. Okay, rather than be lazy, I will buy an entire other stack of milk and egg. Okay, back at it again. Alright, the final one. Over here in the pot, we're going to use one orange to make some more marmalade. And one apple make some more apple jam. Now we have the marmalade, the apple jam, the strawberry jam I still had left over, and the grape jam we still had left over. I realized that we're actually really low in flour as well, so I'll buy these. For the sake of butter, I'll also buy another stack of small milk. Now over here at the oven, we're going to take one of our butter rolls, and we are going to take the apple jam, I said apple jam, and since we're level 28, I believe we have a 100% success rate on the jam roll. Now, jam roll. Bread baked with jam in the middle makes a great snack. Now, depending on what level you want to make these, you'll use a different jam. I thought they'd be considered different items. I thought it would be like apple afterwards or something. But, uh, apparently they're not. <laughs> so you only actually need to make one of these. Technically, just the apple would be enough. But if I were to keep making some of these, like let's say I were to make the marmalade ones, I'd be getting a lot of experience for it at this point. So this wouldn't be a bad grind item for now. Speaking of, let's do exactly that. The marmalade. Jam roll. Butter roll. 
Sweet bread is slow baked with lots of butter. Also known as table rolls, they're small and easy to eat. And the jam roll. Bread baked with jam in the middle makes a great snack. Some reason the jam roll isn't worth as much as the butter roll. That's weird. Seems kind of messed up, but it's fine, I guess. Maybe I don't know. Marmalade time. Let's give this one a shot. Let's give it all that we've got. Somehow we did that. That was... That was a really low chance. I'm gonna be very real with you. I didn't think that would work. I think we got the half level. I think that might be the maximum we can actually get. But that was... Uh... Strawberry. So we had a 19% chance right there. That was not the one I meant to do at first. I meant to do the Grape Jam one, which we only had a 45% chance of. Wow. Okay. Jam roll. Butter time! Okay. Uh, we're gonna need a large milk, a butter, cucumber, rice, and onion. We're not guaranteed on this recipe, and that's fine. Let's do it. Doria. There we go. Skill increased. That puts us at cooking level 30. Nice. Here at the mixer, we're gonna put a ketchup and a... We're gonna put a tomato and an onion in to get ketchup. We're gonna use a small cheese, the ketchup we made, one of our eggplants, the last of this stack of flour, and one of our onions from our new stack to make pizza. We love to see it. The pizza with a small cheese is 36, with a large cheese is actually a level 40. The Doria with a small milk is 30, and with a large milk is a 36. So we did two level 36 recipes in a row, nice. We got a lot of XP for that. Over here at the steamer, we're gonna use one large egg and one flour for I believe a 45% chance at... Pound cake, okay, success, nice. Also in the steamer, if we take a small egg and a small milk, steamed cake, skill of increased. Now this is a small egg and a small milk to make the steamed cake, right? At a level 32. 36 would be a medium and a medium. 40 would be a large and a large. It would seem they have to be the same level. Interesting, did not realize that. But if I had medium, I'd probably be using medium for these. I'm gonna make a second one of these. How much XP does this give me? 20, 25% right in there? Let's say 25%, not bad. Okay, steamed cake, a light and fluffy cake, almost like eating clouds. Doria, rice topped with a homemade sauce, then baked in hill crispy, piping hot all the way through. Pound cake, I want some pound cake. A sweet square cake, steaming brings out a gentle sweet flavor. Pizza, various toppings placed on round dough, then baked. There are literally unlimited variations. And the hot shoes I made earlier that I forgot to ship. A drink made from hot hot fruit. Never gets cold, remains hot inside you after consumption. 12,500 for this, for some reason. As a reminder, gunpowder, extremely easy to get at this point. Hot hot fruit, I don't know how much they sell for, but I don't believe it's anywhere near as much as this, so if you... Actually, can you get those from a quiz? Give me a second. You can get them from Inquisitive Waltz. You cannot get them anytime soon from the looks of it, but you can. So, later on in the game, I shall show you this, and you shall decide whether or not you want to try to get Hot Hot Fruit to grind out these, because this is a decent little way to make money. There are better ways, though. You know, I will show this off, though, nonetheless. You could also just, you know, cook eight fields worth, then get a bunch of gunpowder, and then just, you know, red grass and get money that way. Another easy way to do it. And we're done. Now seems like as good a time as I need to do this. Time to start class. Today's... Today's class is on staves. First up is the silver staff. To make it, you first need a rod. Every staff has a head. Start with a rock. Decorate it with silver. 
add an apple to the gem. It has the ability to heighten your magic powers. The grip can be made from a cheap cloth. Finally, bind it together with a sparkle string. The flare staff is a fire staff. First, you need a rod. For the jewel, make a fire crystal into a flame shape. You also need to use iron. Magic powder. Magic powder with strength of the fire element. As will gunpowder. Finally, use a quality cloth for the grip. Next is the ice staff, a water staff. To make this staff, you'll be modifying a rod. For the staff's gem, you will use a water crystal. You'll need iron for the staff itself. Magic powder will bring out the strength of water. The tortoise shell is said to have that power as well. Finally, strengthen the staff with an arrowhead. Our next staff, the lightning rod, has a wind element. First, you will need to start with a rod. Next, mix together a wind crystal. Iron and a... Magic powder. This will strengthen the wind element. Then, you'll need a skull. Finally, you'll need to add in a bird wing. Any questions? The earth staff is a staff made with an earth element. You'll need to start with a rod. For the staff, not the gem, you'll need an earth crystal. You can increase its power with iron. For the gem, you'll need a magic powder. Combine that with an insect jaw. Use the cloth from a giant's gloves to make the grip. Okay. We're running out of stuff to do on Wednesdays. Uh, let's get the recipes for our final tier. Okay, let's start today with a joy water pot. Before getting started, you'll need a rainbow water pot. Then gold. You'll need a speckled skin too. Use it carefully. Then use some platinum. Add some more platinum to make it really sturdy. Top it off with a ruby and you're done. Next, you're gonna learn how to make a blessed hoe. First, you'll need a shiny hoe. Then a gold. Then use a plant stem to make the handle easy to grip. Then temper in a platinum. Don't slack off here. Next, add some more platinum. Then finish it off by using platinum on the blade. Now I'll teach you about the super sturdy sacred pole. Go ahead and make a famous pole ahead of time. Then you'll need wood. We'll also need to use gold to strengthen the rod. Use platinum too. You need one more platinum to make the joint. And obviously you'll need a strong string if you want to catch anything worthwhile. After that, you'll be done. Okay. And we're done for the day. So I don't think I have yet, so I'm going to throw some dumpling powder into the steamer to make dumplings. It is a super easy recipe. Level 7. Yeah. Okay, here in the steamer, we're going to take one flour, one carrot, one curry powder, and one bamboo sprout. This is a level 35 recipe, so we should have a decent chance at this point. Curry manju. Yep, sure enough, we had a 64% chance. That's not bad. Okay. Curry manju. A curry-filled manju. Inside the soft, subtle taste of the coating works flaming spices. Dumpling powder. Powders from which rice dumplings are made. Creates a sticky, squishy texture. Dumplings. Small bowls of sweet rice paste on skewers. Eaten during festivals and on holidays since long ago. We're actually going to be shipping these with the other ones, just because they're not good. They're not helpful. They're used to make dumplings, and that's it. So it's all the ship list now. 
we're at 45%, both on crop record and on the farm total. We're actually at 49% on the cooking total, though. That's really good. What? You want something? Yeah, I'm here about your message on the bulletin board. Great. Can you take this to Barrett? Received little crystal. He asked me to bring it to him. Make sure you deliver it, okay? I suppose we can do this for you. Barrett, Orlin wanted me to give this to you. Uh, what? Did Orlin not feel like doing himself? Anyway, thanks, Arya. And tell Orlin to do it next time. Himself next time, will you? You delivered it? Great. Barrett told me to bring it yourself next time. I didn't have time for that. Anyway, here's something for your trouble. 100G. See you later. Thank you. That was... Are you shy? Is that what this is about? I don't know, man. <laughs> Troll time. Ah, oh, welcome. It's trial time, then. This time out, I want you to turn your attention to trolls. Can you defeat ten of them for me? This one's a rank up from what you're accustomed to. Make sure you write it before you take it on. This is a tough one, but you can do it. Okay, so, like before, we have to travel all the way over here. There we go. There's my cutlass. These are apparently not trolls. Oh, I, th I think these are technically hammer trolls. So if we come up here instead... To North Beach, maybe here? Yeah, this is correct. There we go. They both spawned over here together. I got a giant's finger now. There we go. Five. There we go, that should be ten. There we go. Goodbye! You managed to do it? Well done. If you're starting to have trouble out there, you'd better boost your defense. Try equipping a shield, especially when bought at my store. Uh, plus 8M16992. <laughs> ah, you gotta love the, the, the glitches and whatnot. Yeah, okay. Here's your reward then. Of energy. Oh, I've got something else for you, too. Missing page two. I can't find any use for this thing. What about you? Can you use it? You're getting a handle on these trials, aren't you? Keep it up. Missing page two, our first second page. The final page of the Stone Spike Magic Book can't be used until the first page has been restored. And, uh, I just put away... No, there it is. I don't have the first page. Give me just a second. So I won't be able to do this until I actually get a another quest for another person. So I'll get to this eventually. Hmm, I'm not so great with fish, but I'm pretty sure this is no good. Can you help me? I saw your I saw your message on the board, Lino. Ha, ah, are you? You made it. Thanks. Okay, so here's my problem. There's a fish I really don't like to eat, but I was thinking I should get over my dislike of it. So I was hoping you could go and catch a sardine for me. Do you think you could help me out? Wow, you're trying to teach yourself to like sardines? That's so grown up of you, Lino. Alright, I'll catch one for you. Thanks. I think you can catch I think you can catch a them on Blessia Island. Thanks again. <laughs> the sardine I already had. I brought what you asked for, Lionel. Thanks, I knew you could do it, Arya. Now I just have to try to eat it. Uh, just looking at it makes me feel queasy. I don't know if I can do this. You can do it, Lionel. Well, I'll try. Here, I should thank you. Please take this. You got cake. Thanks, Arya. I'll at least give it a shot. 
give it a shot. Give it all that we've got. La dee da dee ding. La dee da dee do. Cake, your basic standard issue cake. It's white cream and red strawberries never fail to cap captivate. Worth almost 2,000. Uh, who likes this again? Give me a second. For testing purposes. He says he likes cakes and things. Does he actually like cake or is this a neutral thing? Because the lists aren't complete. Thanks. What, I can have this? Thanks. I'm gonna hope that actually worked. I'm delighted. Is this for me? Thanks so much, I'm so happy. I want you to bring some food to Byron for me. I saw your message on the board, Egan. Ah, uh, Arya, sorry to bother you like this. If it isn't too much trouble, could you please deliver this grotten to Byron for me? I want to make sure it gets to him while it's still warm. However, I'm in a bit of a middle... I'm a... I'm a bit in the middle of something right now. Could you help me out? No problem, I'll bring it to him for you. Thank you very much. Alright, here you go. Received Grotten. Thank you so much, Arya. This is for you, Mayor of Iron. It's from Egan. Ah, uh, you brought it here personally. Thank you, Arya. Ah, uh, yes, the smell, that smells great. Thank Egan for me, please. I will. The town has become vibrant full of life. This is good. Ah, uh, so you gave him the food for me. Thanks for helping me out. <laughs> the mayor was pretty happy. Ah, uh, that's good to hear. Thanks again for your help. Yeah, take this. It's the least I could do to repay you. Popcorn. I hope you enjoy it. If I've got something else I need your help with, I'll be sure to let you know, Arya. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. You know what popcorn is. We all know what popcorn is. Glad we could help him out, though. Alright. Deathstalker time. Right, I've got a trial again for you today. This time out, your tigers defeat Deathstalkers. Can you defeat ten of them for me? A nasty one, this. It's a poisonous insect of some sort. It's been seen on the North Beach at night. Preparation, that's the key. Preparation is everything, so go get it. Let's go to the end of the episode now. Because I'm three hours into this recording. I feel bad for future Gabe. Okay. Well, we need a fish here at the Summer Island port. Until nighttime. Sardine. Nice. I need one more of those. And I got it. Okay, uh, let's teleport out of here for now. Ship the popcorn, because I don't need it. Alright. Back to fishing over here. Bridge to shrine. Mesu Trail. Uh, I'm just gonna toss it. Mesu Trout again. Uh. Come on. So close. Just need it. <laughs> I only need two of them. I hate it here! <laughs> it's already night time. We actually need to tame one of these little guys. These little pals. And you need to go back to the barn. Because you're gonna kill it. Or I wasn't even something to be concerned about. Um, so this is a hornet. Buzz, 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 buzz. We're gonna name it Bet. I did it, I caught a monster. Oh, that was a thing that I probably wanted. Oops. Okay. We need to go down to the first basement floor and see our new friend. Gather. No, you don't have any for us yet. Pet. Ooh, 
This is Bet, the Hornet. Works feverishly for the Queen Bee, relentlessly stings its enemies. It knows rapid attack, and its attribute is wind. We don't use this for combat, but it can produce honey for us. Okay. Now, up here to the North Beach, like we were told. Alright, number one. I'm not going to fight these. <laughs> Number two. Way faster. Number three. Oh, nice. Number four. Defeat of five. Do I not know how to count? <laughs> I thought that was four. I'm confused. There we go. Defeated our Totenkota, the target monster. We're done. Easy peasy. Welcome back. A little tough this time, was it? I thought the poison might get to you, to be honest. But you're back alive, which means your preparation was perfect. Well done. Now here, accept your reward. 2000G. The number of monsters on the island just doesn't seem to change, does it? I hope we can hit, we can hit the beaches on Blessy Island by next summer. Alright. So that's the last quest for the day. But I did want to check one other thing. If Are we good enough friends with him? No, we're not. At some point I want to see if we can actually go to shops other than Tanya's after dark. That'd be neat. And now we're here for a third time today. I want salmon. That's why I'm here. So let's see if we can do it. Before the end of the day. We got a fall flounder before salmon. Come on. Salmon number one at almost midnight. Salted salmon. We're level 13 recipe. Okay, now we need three sardines for dried sardines. Real quick, cook up all these. Okay, to confirm, I haven't shipped this, right? No, I definitely have not. Cool. Dried sardines. Numerous sardines skewered than dried. Generally, they are fried before being eaten. The salted mesa trout that I made. The salted salmon. Salmon salted then fried. The fresher the fish, the tastier it, it will be when cooked. We need one more of these, so if you caught two when you were playing, uh, next episode you'll see what the second salted salmon will be for. But, you know... I'm not that lucky, apparently. I'm also going to ship this diamond since it's level 4 and not the same level as anything else I have. Also, do I have another fall flounder? Yeah, I've shipped a fall flounder. Cool. Okay. 50% of all cooking records are now done. I have 60% of all the fish. 65% of the others. 14% of the accessories thus far. I need to work on that a lot more. Medicine is at 29%. And my crop records are at 45%. I have a bunch of these that I just haven't shipped yet. So that's not quite accurate. But it's, you know, eventually I'll get there to the correct amounts. Yeah. Feeling a lot better than it was. Alright, guys. Next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. We're, of course, keeping up, you know, crafting and whatnot, uh, and questing and whatnot. Wait, I never turned into a quest for tonight. No, I did turn into a quest for tonight. What am I talking about? I'm, I'm, I've been going for, uh, three and a half hours now. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot to try to micromanage things and figure out where all my things are. There is not enough storage in this game and with how all the items are separated, but I'm getting there. 
I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm halfway done with all the cooking. When the cooking's done, that'll help me quite a bit with space. Um, I'm going to start focusing more on accessory crafting for now. That way I can take care of a bunch of the items that I'm just kind of sitting on. You know, my little crystals that I have like three different levels of that I'm kind of like, I need these, but I don't want to throw them away. Get that kind of thing. We'll get there. Keep up the construction. Keep up the crafting. You've got this. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.